So I pulled a few cards to get the overall energy. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Take my advice. I'm not a use. I'm not using it. Hypocrite came out sideways. So these are now near future energy. In front. I intend to live forever. So far, so good. The chains on my mood swing broke. And slow. So someone may be a hypocrite. <laughs> someone may not be taking their own advice. Somebody may have wanted to be seen as front and center. Maybe they have a feeling of immortality. Or they just keep doing dumb shit because they feel like they're just going to live forever and not have to pay the consequences for what they've done. Um, someone has some mood swing issues. So someone could snap easily, have a short temper. Um, someone could be upset because something's moving slow. So this person is very hypocritical. It's like they don't practice what they preach kind of energy. Somebody who wants to be seen as front and center. But something's not moving like they wanted to. So someone could be up to some shady stuff here. Um, and they're upset because it's not happening like they want it to. You would think this person would want to do, you know, the right thing, stay in the upright. But whoever this person is, it's about clout, money, attention, um, this is the kind of person who wants to be right, no matter who else is wrong. They refuse to change the way they think. Um, their perception is their, their only <laughs> reality, and they expect everyone else to see reality the way they see it. <clears throat> I'll get you my pretty and my, and your little dog too. So that's in the reverse. So someone was, um, very hardcore about revenge someone's doing something out of spite you're going to be tested every step of the way have faith in who you are so maintain your integrity your character don't snap off someone could be trying to push your buttons someone's just out for spite revenge my precious in the reverse so this is somebody who didn't appreciate you didn't value you and um it, it seems like they don't value themselves if they're so set against being vengeful and spiteful instead of just living their life you know, with this person, um, you know, possibly assuming they're just going to live forever and not have to pay the consequences karmically in this life. And even if, you know, they don't get their full um, balance of karma dose in this life, something has to be balanced out. And this person's racking up a lot of debt. I am the captain now in the reverse. So this person wanted to be in control. Of someone that may have loved them. Obviously, I feel like this person doesn't know what love is if it's about control and domination. But someone is just doing something out of spite, out of bitterness. This is the unhealed version of them coming through. They refuse to heal. They don't want to heal. I don't think they believe in it. Even if they have a form of religion, they don't feel like they have to heal themselves emotionally because they're always right. <clears throat> there are people here playing games, trying to keep somebody trapped using a child or children. A mother figure could be significant, a parental figure, and a tower moment. So if this is one person or a group of people involved in this, there's something significant about a mother or somebody who has a child could be a father as well but um somebody was scared because they can't relax they're not chill or they're scared because of how relaxed and chill you are in the face of adversity because something is slow moving so if this person was trying to get under your skin or bother you in any sort of way it didn't work if they're the kind of person who's like a practitioner like an actual practitioner of some sort that does legit spell work. Um, you need to be in fear for something to work and it didn't work. Somebody may want to partner up with you or said they wanted to partner up with you. This could have to do with a home situation. There could be someone watching a home and reporting back to someone. That kind of came out in my last reading with someone with um, a possible demon attachment. But there's someone here who may want to help because someone is being watched or stalked or harassed and someone is getting some sort of news or message or information and it could be the people that they paid to watch this home there's a masculine energy here so there could, there could be some talk going around about a masculine energy 
because they were trying to think they were plotting and planning. So there was some sort of scheme or plan that somebody was working on. You're working on trying to get a door to open for you because you may be stuck out in the wilderness. So you may be trying to get a door unstuck to come out of this wilderness if you were left out in the cold by someone or a group of people or even a community. There were a group of people here that could have made you feel trapped or stuck because they were trying to get a treasure. They didn't value you as a treasure. Um, but they, they had a whole group of people here. There's a ringleader here. Then there's a group of people here. And this is not a protective energy. This isn't a guarding in a good way. This is like someone trying to keep someone trapped or stuck so that someone could steal a treasure. Something that you hold valuable to you. Even if it's just your peace. It's like they were trying to steal your peace, your joy, time, money, energy. If you're a mother figure, your children could be significant. Once again, these people are acting very childish. <clears throat> Yeah, someone is possessed. Someone has, like, really weird eyes. Someone could be being controlled by spirits. If they think this is funny. Like, this is really a thrill for someone. Where did that go? So you could just be minding your own business and someone is lying to you or lying about you, possibly how you got left out in the cold or why you can't get out of a situation. It's like there's a group of people here making up a lot of stories about you. So maybe somebody felt like you were lying when you told them why you were trapped out in the wilderness or why you were stuck. There was something shocking regarding a masculine or because of a masculine energy. Someone is celebrating... There's going to be a reason to celebrate with a bride or a wife. So someone is celebrating because they think that you're going to be their wife. Someone had really dark intentions. They lost their shit and they threw a little temper tantrum. This is how many is all pissed off. So someone had dark intentions and they're pissed off that something didn't work because they really thought long and hard about this plan. This is someone who could be trying to force you into marriage. And I know that keeps coming out and that's stupid, but... Someone could be literally trying to force you into marriage and someone celebrating, feeling like they could have you trapped. Maybe you were married to this person. We have this Empress energy. And running. And you keep going. Like, you're still running. You're still trying to figure something out. And that has someone confused because someone didn't want to be married anymore. So this could have been somebody that you were already married to or attached to in some sort of way and i feel like this is a marriage thing it doesn't have to be but someone could be trying to force you back into a marriage that maybe you walked away from or a situation like an engagement something like that but you keep going and this has someone confused because you're not supposed to keep going you're supposed to have given up by now and they can't figure out why you didn't give up they can't figure you out or figure out why or how you keep going forward when they've done everything to put these barriers in your way to stop you from moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, someone is sitting back here and waiting. Like, they were watching you, and they're putting on a show. They're trying to take you for a ride. So someone is sitting back watching and enjoying the ride, and watching you struggle with life, struggle with the problems, overcome these obstacles. It's not like, they don't enjoy the fact that you get through these obstacles, but they're intrigued by it. It's almost like they're kind of impressed, but they're sitting back and waiting for it to pay off. They're waiting and sitting back, hoping that um, you'll get tired of the games and you'll realize you're, you're trapped and just give up. They want you to feel like you're trapped. They want you to see that you're trapped and they want you to surrender. And I don't, I'm just getting the surrendering energy. I heard willingly give your life, so I don't know if it's willing, like, self-sacrifice. Someone may want you to sacrifice yourself to them and their group to take the fall or um, be set up possibly for something. Be trapped in a marriage. Someone, someone wants to be married to you, but it's because they want to be bound to you in some sort of way. And there's darker intentions behind this, especially if this is like someone trying to force you in a marriage. Why would someone try to force that upon another person? What would be the goal for that? Especially if someone didn't want to be in a marriage. 
I don't feel like it's a love thing. I don't feel like it has anything to do with love. It's not about love. Just because this person is intrigued and impressed by you, it doesn't mean they love you. Maybe they want you to feel that way. But that's not the case. Someone's on the wrong path and they were trying to get you off of yours. Time's up, you know. Um, I know the clock isn't on this one, but time is up. There's an official person here, Hierophant Energy. <clears throat> and they were not compassionate towards you. And there was an, something unsuccessful regarding a love or a relationship. So this is like, um, this could be like a religious person, like a teacher, preacher, prophet, advisor, something like that. And there was an unsuccessful partnership. You were not this person's wish fulfillment, or they were not yours. And now this person is sad because they didn't value you or appreciate you. They didn't treat you right. Um, and they can't force you to do something because they did something maliciously or too quickly to you. But once again, I don't feel like it's about love for this person, even if they are an official person. This is somebody who may follow traditions or be more traditional, and you're not, or vice versa. Yeah, there's a high priestess energy and the reverse. Um, <clears throat> so maybe you knew someone was not your destiny or your wish fulfillment, and so you didn't want to stay stuck in a marriage, but if they're traditional, um, they, they may not like divorce or agree with divorce. And so they wanted you to come back and be submissive to them kind of energy. But you're working on planting and growing something else. And something is growing for you. And this has somebody in their feelings and emotions that you keep moving forward. Not only do you keep going, but something is working out for you. And you may have people here working to help you plant something and grow something. This could just be um, coming out of the wilderness, coming out of um, you know a very difficult time. But something you're doing is working out for you. And this person really does not like that. And they weren't expecting it. Someone didn't want to change. They didn't want to go through an ascension. There was a lack of a transformation here. <clears throat> someone could have also partnered up with someone else here to, to cause some sort of harm. Or do some sort of spell work because you are a high priestess. High priest energy. <clears throat> So you know how to protect yourself, and you've ascended to the point where you're a high priest. That came out sideways, so whoever this message is for, you've already ascended to the point of high priestess, the title of high priestess, so you're protecting yourself, or you are highly protected. This has someone pissed off. They're very cold-hearted, and they're shocked. Maybe they didn't think that you knew how to protect yourself or that you actually were a high priestess or a practitioner. Maybe you hide it well or just don't advertise it. Or you're, you're like a minimalist. Like, you don't have to do a whole lot. So you don't have to have, like, a whole collection of, you know, stuff on your shelves to do spells and stuff like that. I mean, if you do, you know, to each their own. But um, whoever you are, this person didn't realize this about you. So it was hidden. Luck is on your side. And this person was keeping secrets. Maybe they were trying to steal your work, or that they didn't view what you do as a talent. There could have been someone here who partnered up with someone to do your work, or someone secretly does the same work as you. There's some sort of secret, and it, it regards to some sort of gift or talent. So this person may be secretly hiding that they have the same gifts as you, or you hid this from that person, and they didn't know it, and it was shocking to them. Especially if they're a spiritualist. They may claim to be religious, but maybe they hide a form of spirituality and stuff like that. Like, I'm getting, like, cult energy, like, um, organized religious religion or something like that. Um, and this person was hiding the fact, or someone, or you had this fact. Someone was hiding the fact that they were as gifted as the other person. But someone wants to knock something out of the park here, and they see someone as their ten of cups. Or someone sees you knocking something out of the park and they, they view, like, they see you being happy and now all of a sudden maybe they see you as their happiness. They see that you have a positive outcome coming. Maybe they're a seer or a reader or some sort of 
they have some sort of spiritual gift. If you have a gift, they have the same gift as you. But somebody created an illusion. There was some sort of illusion that was surrounding something here. Someone could be being watched, <clears throat> or they're watching, and they're swimming in quicksand. It's like they're stuck. Something is slow moving. Somebody wants to communicate with a feminine, possibly here, but there and there's a group of people here that are um, like jumping ship, like flying away. Like, flying the coop. Like, there's a group of people here. So something is slow moving, maybe because a group isn't able to accomplish what they set out to do. And so they have to stop doing something. They could be getting caught up in their own shit. Especially if this is illegal stuff. Something may be slow moving because they received some sort of communication. Maybe that they were being watched or under some sort of investigation. You're painting a picture, okay? So you're painting a picture about this group. You could be exposing what they're doing. And so they feel kind of like naked, exposed, out in the cold. You know how they wanted you to feel? Um, they wanted you to be, like, ashamed and embarrassed and all this other stuff. But there's a picture that's being painted about this group of people. And so they're not able to move as fast as they would like. If you're speaking some sort of truth about this group, um, they may be trying to move more cautiously or they may be afraid of being caught. While they're watching you, they could be finding out that they're being watched or under some sort of investigation. They didn't expect that. I just heard someone didn't expect that. <clears throat> Yeah, so, <laughs> these people don't want their mess exposed, what they've been up to. Don't mess with my mess in the reverse. They were trying to keep something hidden from the public. Take life one cup at a time. So they didn't do things in moderation. Someone did things excessively, and now they're afraid of being caught. Somebody was thirsty, they were running quickly. Someone wanted something to happen quickly. So if this is a group that's connected to a masculine that was trying to hurry up and get you into um, their home or into a marriage or something like that, someone was in a hurry to do something. So they didn't do things in moderation. They did something quickly because they were pissed off. I hate Mondays. So there could have been Monday that was significant. Um, they could have been upset or sad that something didn't work out in their favor. They were pissed off because you know that this person just wants to control you, that they don't really want to take care of you, that they don't really love you. Like, something is for show. Like, if this person wants you to feel like they're going to take care of you or pamper you or be nice to you or something, like, you know someone's full of shit because their actions never match up with their words. Maybe they just want the title of being married to you or maybe you have some sort of money or something that's connected to you. Somebody was not happy, someone was bored, or somebody became angry in a partnership. One of the sad realities of life is that laundry always cools off. So, you know, something has cooled off. Like, if, if this person did something because they were mad at you, because you were not happy in the relationship, and instead of changing for the better, this person could have lashed out at you for wanting to leave and not being, you know, not putting up with their secrets, their bullshit, their lies their impulsiveness, they could have ran towards somebody else, so they could have been thirsting after someone else here too, keep your attitude, I have my own, so they could have gotten an attitude with you and you gave it right back to them, you're like Susie Homemaker, or like, you know, your husband, your husband or wifey material, anything worth doing is worth delegating, so, you know, you've cooled your jets, if someone was trying to have you like in a sexual energy, or rush you into a marriage, Maybe this person thought that that's what you were about. Like, you had to be married to someone even if it didn't matter to who. And that's not the case. You know your worth, you know your value, and maybe you're not in a hurry or a rush to get married. 
Yeah, somebody could have slept with somebody else and they thought they were being sneaky and getting away with it. And someone's still trying to be sneaky. And this person is lusting and thirsting. Who they slept with or what they were doing may have been shocking. Or maybe they found out that you were sleeping with somebody else or seeing somebody else. And they went crazy. Because they didn't have some sort of knowledge about you being attractive. So maybe they thought that you had gained like 50 pounds and you're not attractive. Or they thought you were uneducated and maybe someone wouldn't find you sexy or smart or intelligent because they didn't because they thought they were better than you because this is a true narcissistic energy <clears throat> somebody may have assumed that other people wouldn't find you smart or intelligent and it drove them crazy and it was shocking to find out that um, someone is thirsty after you or lusting after you or you know you may be seeing somebody but someone's willpower is overrated. They only care about money. So someone's not willing to change. Someone just cares about money and finances. There's a partnership here. So someone, this person could be connected to somebody who only cares about money. So they could be connected to a gold digger here. Their plans were foiled again to keep you trapped in a shitty situation here. So they're bound to somebody else. They're bound or stuck with a gold digger energy. But yeah, this person wants to force you into a commitment with them or some sort of situation. They don't want to be married to whoever they're married to, but they can't just walk away from it for some reason. Maybe they have ties within the community. Or maybe it's part of like their religious belief system. So maybe after you separated from this person, they could have married someone else. Or they were already married and they were not divorced. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone in this masculine energy married a gold digger. But you're the official person. Or there's an official person here that's getting in line to some sort of truth. Ace of Swords. Or this official person needs to speak some sort of truth. Maybe that they hooked up with a gold digger. Something is being balanced out here financially if you were struggling left out in the cold out in the wilderness ace of pentacles something is um coming to you to give you a new start or a new beginning here this person may be finding out a harsh truth maybe that you got some sort of inheritance or you have some sort of new beginning and they can't stand this kind of goes along with the last few readings i've done so even though this person likes to deal with other people that you may or may not know. This person can't stand the fact that you're moving on or that you, you know, that other people are finding you smart or attractive. And they're evil. They're very dark. They use their gifts for dark purposes. This emperor, masculine. There was a truth that was hidden. Page of Swords, this person did not know. They were not educated or you did not know this about them. They really did assume that you were not educated like in the arts. This person practices dark magic. They didn't know that you knew how to protect yourself, so they could have been doing beauty spells and shit on you. Um, they could have been trying to keep your third eye closed or something. They, they could have been trying to mess with your chakras, your money, everything. And they were not educated. They didn't know. They were lying to themselves because they didn't know that you had the same gifts as them, but you don't use yours for dark intentions, and they do. Someone did get left out in the cold, and you've had the strength and courage to get through this. So they could have left you out in the cold because they didn't think you were good enough for them, and they didn't value you as a treasure, or you didn't give them a treasure. There was something that they wanted to take from you, and they didn't get it. Maybe they thought that they were going to affect your peace, your, um, you know, your good nature, if you're a light worker, good worker, or whatever. If you're on the right side of things, this person really gets off on causing heartbreak and um, you know, affecting what you see as a treasure. This, this kind of goes hand in hand with the last one I did. 
with that dark entity attachment. I'll just say entity because every time I start to say deity, I get corrected. So whatever this dark entity is. Yeah, there was a group of people that was involved in this too. Your family could have even been involved or been significant. They wanted to cause you heartbreak. They wanted your family or community to turn against you. They didn't want you to have any peace or be seen as a treasure within a community. And there's a tower moment here. So they left you out in the cold and talked shit about you because they didn't want anyone to see you for your worth or your value just because they looked at you a certain kind of way. There's a tower moment coming because of your strength. This person didn't have a positive outcome and they're a fool and they don't have a happy family stable life because of who they were partnered up and working with. And there are people talking. Three of Pentacles, there's talking, gossiping going on. There could be a meeting happening about this tower moment or that's going to bring this tower moment. Because even though you're heavily burdened, you keep persevering and you're moving on to calmer waters and something is moving for you and that's not what this person expected to happen. They didn't expect you to be able to move forward. They didn't want you to move forward. They wanted you to be stay stuck there. It's like this person likes to play those cat and mouse games. It's like they enjoy toying with you. But they also want to force you into something. But it's like, it's like they want to force you into a relationship or a marriage, but this person may already be attached to somebody else. And so it's like they can't offer you a solid commitment. So I don't know why they keep wasting their time with this. I guess they feel like they can force you into putting up with it or dealing with being like a third party. But that's just not who you are. There's a barrier here with the hangman. So there's some sort of barrier that's in the way. Or something is stuck or frozen at the moment. Something is stuck because someone can't take your treasure or can't affect your treasure. Or you also know that they didn't value your worth or see you as a treasure. So that could be why they can't force you into doing this because you maybe you know they're dark. There's a decision. There's a crossroads that an empress has to make which direction you're going regarding this tyrant emperor and closing out a cycle. So... You closed out a cycle with this person and they can't take a treasure from you. Whatever this treasure is, then it could be money, okay? Um, someone's definitely a gold digger and it could be a feminine here who's um, jumping back and forth, masking their energy, going back and forth between masculine and feminine energy. But I don't want to say they're balanced because I don't feel like they are emotionally. Obviously, they have some sort of childhood wounds. Um, but something is stuck regarding a decision at a crossroads. They're at a stalemate when it comes to an empress you won't let them in your door like you just don't deal with this person and you have this new beginning and you have money coming to you and this person didn't expect it so there's there could be some sort of unexpected money that you receive that's going to help get you unstuck and um so that kind of put a wrench in their plans <clears throat> like maybe somebody passed away and left you some sort of money or whatever you're doing is paying off or you could be entering into a new relationship <clears throat> Because someone was juggling, so you closed out a cycle with this emperor because they didn't value you, and they were juggling you with somebody else. So they were sneaking around, lurking, being sneaky, and thought it was all fun and games, playing with you mentally, trying to convince you that something was all in your head, and you didn't buy it. Yeah, you don't have fond memories of this person because they made you fight all these battles on your own, and they brought all this bullshit to your front door, and all this conflict. <clears throat> This person's juggling. You don't have fond memories of them. This is somebody that you know. But when you think about this person, you don't remember happy times. You remember all the conflict and bullshit that this person brought to your doorstep. And they made you fight it all on your own. So, of course, you're not, like, thinking, oh, I love you. I want to be with you. That's why this person can't just come up to you and be like, hey, um, you know, I fucked up. Because, first of all, they wouldn't say that. They, this person doesn't like to admit that they're wrong. But secondly, um, they did too much, and they know they did too much. Even just because, like, it's like they don't want to admit it. They'll never admit it. But they know what they did to you, and you cut them off. And they're meeting up with someone secretly because you missed the trap. Because you received some sort of unexpected money and an income and, or an inheritance. And this person is being spiteful. They were out for revenge against you. There's something, once again, that's significant about a co-worker. And they lost their spiritual gift. So, this person, if they were trying to compete with you or had the same spiritual gift as you, gifts as you, they lost them. 
and there really no, was no good reason for why they did something. It was just for their pleasure, their enjoyment. Someone's crazy. Someone is purposefully lying to cover their ass. So someone is going crazy and they're lying to cover their ass because they're doing really shady shit. And they hired someone to spy. And someone went broke and they needed money. But yet, they have lovers. Your ex-spouse is involved in this somehow. And you didn't want to be with them. And once again, relatives are involved. So in my one last reading that I, I recently did, um, a relative is the one who kind of started this tr chain reaction, this trigger, and it could have been your relative who is lonely or wanted you to be lonely and set you up. So somebody wanted you to be lone, alone, lonely. It could have been a jealous family member that started this whole thing. Like I said in my last one, it's like a domino effect. Like a family member could have sent someone towards you to be in a relationship with you. Um... And this person had really dark intentions, like this could be like hitman energy. This person is connected to another group, and they're dealing with somebody else. They're married or in another relationship. They're like a hoe. They're like the male equivalent of a hoe. Um, they're non-committal. They're into all this crazy shit. They do dark magic, even though they hide it. And you're just as gifted as they are, but you don't use your gifts for dark. It's like you you could be mirroring each other's gifts but you use them for two completely different purposes, and now someone has lost their gifts. Proceed with caution. Do not test the water with both feet. So if someone is trying to set you up or they're still on this bullshit, um, they need to proceed with caution. And you need to proceed with caution about them continuing to set you up. For something, keep your eyes open, because this, I feel like they're still trying to do some sort of crazy shit. There was something significant that this person did possibly within the last three to six months or that they're going to do in the next three to six months because they're not divine, they are evil. And they're not able to recover and they don't want you to miraculously recover. Someone's telling the truth and a cord, cut in, cord, cord cutting was needed. So you could be telling the truth about this person, this group of people who are evil, who are trying to stop you from healing or recovering from something. And a cord cutting was needed. Maybe you did a cord cutting and this person does not have access to your energy. And they're trying to get back in your energy by making you think of them, reminisce about them. When you think about them, you don't have good memories about them. So if you did a cord cutting and this person keeps popping up or trying to send you subliminal messages, change direction, change what you're doing. Think about something else. This person's trying to get back into your energy. <clears throat> I'm just kidding that they're trying to find a way back in. Like leaving little clues or songs, something like that. Someone ended up in hot water because they burnt their bridge. So don't burn your bridges and in hot water. Someone's in hot water because they burned their bridges. They shouldn't have. Someone needed to proceed with caution and they didn't do this. They went all out with their balls out. I mean, they didn't give a shit. They didn't think they needed to. They're very narcissistic. Like this person really thinks that they're never going to get caught. Like, they really think they're just going to get away with something forever because they've gotten away with something for so long or many years. But luck is not on their side because they burnt their bridges with an earth angel or somebody who was of the light. Doesn't matter what you call yourself. Like, if you're in the up and up and you're a light work or whatever the case. They wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink and they created a perfect storm for themselves. So that's that backfire that's hitting them. They didn't expect you to know how to protect yourself. So when that shit went back to them, when you did a cord cutting or return to sender, um, that shit hit them hard, hard, hard. And they didn't see it coming. They're like, how the hell did this person know how to do this or how to protect themselves? There was never an equal give and take. And that's why they didn't see something clearly about you. Because they just said all's fair in love and war. They didn't care who got hurt, especially you. Like, they don't think about the consequences. They may not think about or care. They, I don't feel like they believe in karma or balance. They don't believe in that. They don't believe that if they do some sort of spell work that it can be sent back to them because they feel like they can do, like, a protection spell or something and not have to be held accountable for the shit that they send out to someone else. But something is about money, and this is the blind leading the blind. And they think that this shit is cute. And this person who's bad to the bone uses their attraction, uses their looks to get what they want with Q. So they may be attractive, handsome, sexy, whatever. But this person really is um, 
very full of themselves, so they use their attractiveness to um, get what they want. Yeah, someone pulled the wool over someone's eyes. Absence makes the heart grow fonder and chomping at the bit. They really don't miss you. Like I said, this is not about love. This person does not love you. They're too evil. They're too dark. They, they're they not capable. I mean, I just got to keep it real. This person's not capable of love. They're pulling the wool over your eyes saying that they missed you. But they were chomping at the bit and they opened up a whole can of worms because you saw the writing on the wall and they didn't. They refused to see the writing on the wall. And they just kept doing something over and over again. Um, and they could be a cloud chaser, you know, moment of truth, moment of glory. Sagittarius could be significant here. They were beating a dead horse. You're going to be breathing a sigh of relief, though. You may be getting 15 minutes of fame because this person was very evil. A Taurus could be significant. Um, that could have been someone who was in your family. Um, a third party. So there's a third party who could have been a family member or the person that they were sleeping with. Um, they play for the other team, so this person could also be bisexual, so that could have been who they partnered up with, so um, it doesn't have to be someone the same sex as you that they were messing around with, it could have been, like if you're a female, they could have been sleeping with like a brother or something, you never know, okay? But someone who plays for the other team is pissed off because something was a blessing in disguise for you. So once again, their plans were foiled because you err on the side of caution, better safe than sorry, and you missed the boat. And because you proceed with caution and do things a very, um, you don't make things, um, make decisions based on like impulse or irrationality. Like you don't make fear-based decisions and that's how you miss the boat on this one. And you know, you reap what you sow. So the stuff that was sent out to you was sent back to them because they missed something. They missed their opportunity. Because somebody did something out of envy. There was a third party who could have been envious of you as well. They were doing something in the night time and they got caught red-handed doing some shit. Like father, like son. So someone could be a father figure, a son. This could be your ex-husband. Someone got caught red-handed doing something and they're as ugly as sin. And you know what? That eye for an eye thing um, is real. And they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And this person is scared stiff about going to jail because they got caught. So your ex, if you have a father, if you have a child, if this is like the father of your child, they're scared. They wanted you to be in your worst nightmare, and now they're the ones that are scared of going to jail. And you can run, but you can't hide. Okay, so it's not, it's not over for them. They should be scared of going to jail because they got caught doing shady shit. Let her be, be significant person, place, or thing. G. BG, big G's, GB, A, Gab, someone could be doing a lot of gabbing, someone could be a lot of talking, someone's name could be Gabby, L, someone thinks they have the gift of Gab too, Glamour, M, someone's doing Glamour spells, Glamour work, they want you to see them as attractive so they're doing some sort of Glamour spells as well, F, Someone could also be kind of flamboyant, but on the down low. You. Someone could be on the down low. H. Why? Don't let this person hug you. There's something significant about a hug here. Don't let, don't let this person hug you. <laughs> I don't know if it's because they're trying to steal your energy or what, but there's a reason. Don't let this person hug you. Don't hug them. A. I'll do two more. Z. W. So F L M B G A Y H U A Z W. I hope this helps. Have a good day.